A beautiful song, a brand new one all the way up from my daddy's uh, uh, Green Daddy alongside Adoda Jose Chameleon. Actually, Green Daddy said it was a beautiful experience working with Adoda Jose Chameleon right there. Uh, you know, Chameleon being the biggest in the country, so who would not want to work with him? Welcome back to the lunch bar. My name is Rick Selly. In case you're tuning right there, you're doing such a great job. And in case you're tuning within Kampala, yes, those are always guys. I know tomorrow is going to be a Thursday. Guys will already be in a weekend mood out there. So still in studio, just like I told you, I will be joined with actually uh, my guests. That is for the second phase. And uh, still the same team, but this time around, we are discussing about the project that is actually now in Uganda. And uh, I don't even have to talk a lot about this project because they are here to well elaborate about what they are actually going to be doing. But this one is definitely for the music, guys. If you love music, if you love playing instruments, I'm dedicating this show directly to you right now. So for the guys who are anywhere out there, allow me unveil my team uh, that actually has joined me again on set. And uh, let me start from my right an introduction uh just the names probably what you do where you come from yes uh, thank you very much uh, presenter my okay. name is uh, katasa moses okay I'm the secretary of uh, the board of uh, padre pio youth initiative okay padre pio youth initiative is an organization that works with the youth mm. as you have heard with the children mm. and uh, we are here to develop to nurture develop and uh, ensure there is a skill in music, entertainment, okay. and performances. All right, that was a good one. And when I come back to my left, uh, an introduction, let me start from here, our names. My name is Uli Brand. I came from Germany, okay. and I'm an instrument maker. Okay, an instrument I'm maker. Building maker. I'm okay. building and repairing uh, uh, brass instruments. Okay. All right, so uh, guys, like, the instruments you play, he is actually the one who makes them. In the case they get spoiled, he's the very person who repairs them. In short, he's an instrument maker. Okay, for the person who has seen you again for the first time, welcome back. Probably our names one more time. My name is Gerald, and I'm here to support part of your youth initiative and to support the connections between Uganda and Germany. Okay, okay, Uganda and Germany collaboration. So now, uh, talking about the project itself, it's called the Scent. Padre, Padre Pio, Pio Youth Initiative. Let, let me first understand the term Padre Pio. What is Padre Pio? Uh, Padre, Padre Pio yeah. was a saint. He was he, a saint. He's, yeah? a, he's a saint who lived in those times and okay. he was uh, dedicated and used to do a lot of prayer. Okay. And he was a priest. Why I ask that question is because mm. there is a person who might be hearing this for the first time. True. And they really deserve to understand mm -hmm. what Padre Pio is. Okay, yes, so now I'm talking about the project. Um, how long has the project existed? Uh, Padre Pio has been here for the last uh, slightly over 10 years. In Uganda? And uh, we started in a PG district okay. in a place called Nkosi Parish. Mm. Yes. And now uh, in 10 years, mm. it, th th that is really like a 20, uh, this is 2024, that means around True. 2014, Absolutely. Uh, back in the day. So uh, the projects, uh, let, let, let me get, first get to the instrument maker. Are uh, you making this instrument? Did you, is it just something you learned on your own, or there is a specific school you went to start learning this? No, 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 no. This is a profession. It's a profession uh, business in Germany. Okay. You have to learn three years, and after five years, you can make the master. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you also a brain behind uh, Saint Padre Pio? No, 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 it's a, a friend of mine. Okay, Nailai. so it's, it's just a, a connection. It's yeah. just a connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now like about the project uh, being here in Uganda. Yes. Uh, this project is actually targeted for the youths and young people. Yes. So far, operating for 10 years. True. What are some of the achievements? Or what has uh, the project impacted to those that have actually been participating in it? Uh, Padre Pio Youth Initiative has uh, impacted on the children and on the youth. How? Uh, we look at children who have talent, but they do not have the ability to meet the school fees and school requirements. Mm -hmm. So we take them on, they become part of us, mm. we train them, we skill them, to, to, we nurture 
that talent. Okay. So that these people become very good in traditional dances, mm -hmm. very good in, in uh, uh, the brass band, okay. very good in the singing. And uh, we have youth who are really, who have left us and they have gone and joined the good and big performing groups mm -hmm. and they are doing very well. Wow. And to us, that brings a lot of satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And also those students who have not been able to meet uh, the school fees would be out of school. They are in school, they are picking up a skill, as well as getting an education. Wow, it is exactly one of the benefits they've got Absolutely. out of there. Okay, and, yes. and, and now uh, when I talk about the, the instruments, mm -hmm. um, which kind of instruments do you really make? I make only brass instruments. Only brass, brass instruments. instruments and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, woodwind. Okay. You know, saxophones. Yeah, yeah, saxophones. And so, and so on. Mm. Uh, okay, like, uh, you know why it's complicated? Like, uh, for example, if I am to bring a person, if I'm talking about guns, and this is the person who makes guns, like being the person who makes a weapon that people are using, like it's something great. So now, uh, how many years have you taken in experience of making instruments? How many years? Wie lange du schon Instrumente baust? Oh, how much do that? About 55 years. 55 years yes, yeah. of making instruments. Yeah, look, look at me and... Uh, I'm turning to 71. You're turning to 71. <laughs> hey, hey, that is 71. I'm really talking to my grandpa. And Definitely. I'm now retired. <laughs> and I take the time to uh, uh, to learn the kids in mm. Uganda to uh, okay. uh, uh, clean the instruments and prepare the instrument. Small, okay. small preparing. Okay. What does somebody have, or what should somebody have, in order to pick up? to training to learn how to use these instruments. Welche Voraussetzungen sollte jemand mitbringen, um Instrumentenbau zu lernen oder oder als ein Instrument reparieren zu können? Uh, er müsste, I answer German, oh, okay. uh, er müsste, er müsste uh, Liebe, also ein Instrument spielen, uh, how to play an instrument, mm -hmm. und er müsste uh, eine Liebe zu diesem Beruf entwickeln. Okay. He should develop some kind of love to this profession and yeah. also okay. love yeah. to the instruments and the music. One should actually yeah. have love for it, love for uh, learning yeah. and love for playing. Yeah. It's all about passion. So in case you're out there and probably want to be part of this, the first thing you should actually have is love for it, love for something uh, that you do. So now in case somebody might be asking, how can I be part of uh, Padre Pio? How can, how can somebody get along with you, to be part of you? Uh, if someone wants to be part of us, they should, first of all, as he has put it, mm. they should have the love, the love and the okay. passion mm. for music. Okay. Then also they should be young children or youth, and there I'm talking about the parents. Okay. We link these youth and children through the parents, mm -hmm. because you, when you, you, you connect straight with them, okay. there is a link you miss. Mm. So when they come with a parent, we get to know this youth much better. Okay. And even when we have that discussion, we get to know how we are going to guide them mm. and how they are going to fit within the, the parent organization also should be involved in this. Absolutely. Okay. A parent or a guardian. A parent or a guardian. Yes. Okay. And now for that person who has love uh, for this, yes. and probably he is down there mm. in Western Uganda or down there in Eastern Uganda or probably Northern Uganda, mm. uh, uh, do you have branches that side? Or uh, uh, do you have a way that you link up with those ones that are really far? We can leave our contacts. And these Behind. people, absolutely. And they contact us, mm. and then we get to see how we integrate them into our programs and activities. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and definitely let's do that. If you can leave our long contacts or maybe your social media handles that they can reach through to get in touch with you. Uh, for the beginning, I'm going to leave a phone contact. Okay. And uh, when that person calls, then we can share the other uh, are links that we have. Okay. Yeah. Uh, our contact is 0782 mm. 68 63. Okay. Once you call that one, we get to link up, we make programs, we make appointments, we link up, we talk, and then we see how we integrate one another. A and other contacts, probably other handles, social media? You know, these people are so much of social media. Uh, at the moment, uh, they can, even, they can even get to us on Facebook. On Facebook, that yes. is sent. S Padre, Padre Pio Youth Pio. Initiative. Okay. Padre Pio Youth Initiative. Okay. If yeah. I may go a bit personal, hmm. um, uh, I just want to talk about life now. Uh, you being an elder, 
uh, what have you found which is so different in Ugandan life as compared to life back in Germany? Was ist deiner Meinung nach als eine ältere Person der größte Unterschied zwischen dem Leben in Uganda und dem Leben in Deutschland? Diese nette, diese nette Behandlung und liebevolle Behandlung von den Menschen, das finde ich wunderbar, das ist bei uns nicht mehr so stark anzufinden oder anzutreffen. I think it's amazing and incredible okay. how nice and lovely the people in Uganda treat each other. Okay. Yeah. And then back there, I think it's the same thing, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, wie ist das in Deutschland? Ja, das haben wir in Deutschland etwas verloren. In diese, 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 diese Behandlung dem Alter gegenüber. In Germany we lost it a little bit. You lost that a little yeah, bit, yeah. okay. Yeah, Everybody is independent. Exactly, kind of. and also okay. the respect uh, for older people. Okay. All right, is there any Ugandan in your growth that you've commonly heard about his name? Gibt es irgendjemanden aus Uganda, eine wichtige Person oder so, von der du den Namen gehört hast? Ja, von dem Präsidenten Museveni. Oh, the, the president. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The, 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 the only Ugandan he has commonly heard about is uh, President Museveni. Yeah. Okay. All right. So probably as we are getting, uh, 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 I normally don't leave this one, and I'm actually very humbled having an elder uh, here on set, and I would love him to talk to the young person out there, being a parent, uh, uh, advising them on how they can actually be better people at the end of the day, in line with their talents musically, or are with playing instruments, how can one be a better person tomorrow? Young people. Du sollst etwas Lebenserfahrung oder einen Rat teilen, wie ein junger Zuschauer äh, oh. eine bessere Person werden kann oder seine, seine Talente äh, fördern kann, äh, äh, sowohl im Allgemeinen als auch im Bereich der Musikinstrumente. Das ist eine sehr schwierige Frage. It's a difficult uh, question. Uh, really, okay. really a difficult question. Uh, he <laughs> Any kind he, of advice? He, he has hardly work. Hard every work? Day. Okay. Yeah, every okay. day. Every day. He has to work harder every day. And nicht und dann und, und he, he shouldn't be uh, desperate. He shouldn't be desperate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to be desperate. You have to work hard. Hard. Every, every day. day. Yeah. Okay. So that is how you can be a successful. That's the only way I think. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, getting back to my brother over this side. Uh, mm -hmm. Now about uh, still the project. Mm -hmm. uh, people that are actually out there mm -hmm. would love to ask, like, uh, apart from just uh, skilling these people, are there any other extra activities that you really offer as a project? Yes. To the community or society? Yes. Okay. And some of those are? Uh, to the community and society for the beginning, mm -hmm. we wanted to lift the talent. The next, the next step that we are taking is to set up a vocational school. Okay, okay. Uh, Uli and his, our team that is coming from Germany, mm. they are here for this particular visit. Mm. They have come in to skill the ch uh, our, our children mm. and youth mm. in instrument handling. Okay. There is a, a shortage of people who are highly skilled in handling these instruments. Okay. And it has been quite a challenge on our side. Mm, that is true. And uh, when these people come in, they have really skilled these youth in handling this equipment, fixing them, and also handling them at almost no cost. Yeah, that is true, that is true. And uh, this has been an eye opener. And uh, once we set up the vocational institute, one of the vocations that we are looking at mm. is skilling uh, youth to, man, to, to maintain and repair maintain these and brass repair. Uh, uh, instruments because they are very expensive. Okay. They are delicate to handle. Okay. And uh, once this is imparted in the handlers, mm. then so it, easy it will maintain. be it absolutely. But okay. also we are looking at the vocation training institute mm. because in MPG we are setting up. Okay. We have land and we are having plans, the plans are out, mm. and we shall be setting up the first buildings later very on, soon. very soon. Okay, so currently where are you located, main offices? Our offices are in Mpiji, in Nkozi. We also have contact, uh, uh, we can also be contacted in Endeavor. 
in Denver. Okay? Yes, St. Joseph Parish. Oh, St. Joseph Parish. Okay, mm -hmm. that is actually very good. So I don't know, probably in case I've left something that you would love to actually alert the public, uh, any other extra thing. You would allow me to use this opportunity since this is a, a very big TV. Yeah. And uh, it has given us this platform. Okay, that and, is true. Uh, we really thank you very much for pushing the cause of Padre Pio out there into the communities and yep. people. You're we can't thank you enough. And uh, to my colleagues, the team from Germany, Uli, Gerald, Marcos, and uh, Matthias, Matthias. Yeah. Yeah. you guys are incredible. Not only to Padre Pio, but you are incredible to the country that and to true. the children and the youth. That is true. You have given them a reason to see tomorrow. That Thank you very much. Don't get tired. In my culture, we say, O Kadi Womobidi, not a Kadi Womutima. Giving starts from the heart. That is true. Thank you. Uh, how do I say thank you in, in German? Uh, danke schön. And I say hello, Uganda. Uh, how, do you, how do I say it in German? Danke schön. Danke schön. Danke schön. <laughs> okay, and if I want to say, have a good day. Have a good day. Schönen Tag. Haben, haben Sie einen schönen Tag. Have a good day. Ah, I'm already stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you so much, actually. I've been having a team all the way from uh, St. Padre Pio. And in case you are there, you're dreaming to actually learn how to play this instrument or probably how to repair them, I have them here. And I'm very sure by now you have noted down their address, their contacts, uh, so that you can actually get in touch with them uh, for more on this. So I want you to give uh, your uh, uh, last say for now as we are actually signing up. Last say. Let, let me start from uh, uh, let me start from Marcus. Then, uh, uh, no, sorry, Ma let, let me come from Gerald. Then I'll come back to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your last say to Thank any, so any Ugandan watching right now. Thank you, Uganda, for having us for one week. It was an amazing time. It was an incredible time. Also, we learned a lot of things. We got new experiences. We got new perspectives. And it's quite sad that we unfortunately already leave uh, tonight. Okay. Oh, you're leaving tonight? Yeah, we're leaving tonight. Yeah. From oh. here, we are heading to the airport. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. And uh, uh, maybe a last say from him, as you guys uh, are leaving us. I, I just what said, it, said it before. I just said it before. Hello, hello, Uganda. I come okay. back again. Okay, you come okay. back again. Okay. All right, we can't wait, actually, to receive <laughs> you back again okay thank you so much because you've been part of this very show it's the live vibe on new ctv with me rixel i mean actually, actually have been having a big team here with me uh earlier on i had actually uh, an instrument player uh, all the way from germany and again i had an instrument maker all the way from germany and as well he, rep he repairs the same instrument together with a law student <laughs> you're gonna be a, a, a counselor to me right yeah. Yeah, yeah, cancer to be <laughs> and uh together with my other brother who is actually uh, like you guys are all living tonight. Um not no, him. Not all of us he's gonna stay yeah, yeah. All yeah. Of the he's coordinating yeah. within the country. Yeah. So yeah. in case I'm yeah, yeah. um, to get in touch with the project, it's through him. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay, wow. I wanted to be clear on that to everyone. Thank you so much. And for now, uh allow us say uh, it's been a blessed show right there. I just wanna take you through one song, then we shall come back to close up with the show. But you guys have been doing such an amazing job right there. From now, let's go for this song, then we shall be coming back straight away with the show. Don't